Okay, you finally decided that it's time to replace your roof and maybe the roofing salesman that you're working with is trying to convince you to pay for an upgrade. But you're wondering, is it even worth it to pay for an upgrade to your roof? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you some information that'll help guide your decision on whether or not you should pay for a roof upgrade. And I'm gonna tell you what the advantages and disadvantages are to each of the upgraded roofing material. And I'm gonna tell you that right now. First off, let's talk about the types of upgraded roofing material that you might be considering or that a roofing salesman might be trying to convince you that you should upgrade to. So the first would be what I would call a standard shingle to a better standard shingle. Next is gonna be a standard shingle to what's called a, a luxury shingle. Then after that would be a standard shingle to an impact resistant shingle. So all of those, you're basically just trading one type of asphalt shingle for a different, maybe better type of asphalt shingle. But some other types of upgrades that you might be considering, maybe going from your asphalt shingle to a metal roof. That's actually a very common idea that people have to upgrade to metal. Then there's also upgrading from really pretty much any roofing material to what's called a synthetic composite type roofing material. Now, remember I told you that I was gonna talk about the advantages and disadvantages of each of those different kinds of roof upgrades. I'm gonna do that in just a minute, if you'll bear with me. For now, I wanna talk about something that I think is a little bit more important to the question of, is it worth it for you to upgrade your roof? And that has to do with what your goals are. So think through what is it that's prompting you to even be wanting to upgrade your roof? Is it the fact that you've done your own research and you're actually interested in this upgraded roofing material? Or is it more the fact that the roofing salesman is trying to convince you that this is something that you should do? And that's actually a very important question because what happens oftentimes, especially if you have a roofing salesman that's come over to your house to do the presentation, not in all cases, but, but in a lot of cases, the name of the game for the roofing salesman is upselling. Is your salesman trying to appeal to maybe your sense of vanity, trying to get you to go to a nicer looking shingle? Is he trying to appeal to maybe your fear of loss, trying to convince you to install an impact resistant shingle. So like I said, for a lot of roofing companies, the name of the game is to upsell you. So you know you need a roof, but you don't exactly know that there are these other options out there. And so shingle companies will make these different levels of shingles to facilitate the roofing companies to have something to step you up to. Now, I wanna make it very clear that I'm not saying that there's anything unethical about presenting options to a homeowner that the roofing contractor may believe is a better option for you, the homeowner, because that's how good business gets done is by giving you the options. You might have goals that have compelled you to do your research or in doing the research, it may have kind of modified what your goals are. For example, you may have a goal that is to avoid having any future claims for hail damage. Your goal might be that you just have a more luxurious kind of showcase look to your house and you want the roof to reflect that. Or you might even live in an HOA and they're kind of compelling their goals for your house onto you and so you might have a requirement to install a a more upgraded shingle. So there could be any number of things that could be goals for you as a homeowner that could be directing you to want an upgraded roof. So now let's talk about the pros and cons, the advantages and disadvantages of each of those different upgraded roofing materials. The first upgraded roofing material would be, like I said, the standard shingle to just a better standard shingle. Now, in my opinion, this isn't an upgrade that a homeowner really should seriously consider at all. There's really only a marginal difference between those two levels of shingles, you know, just the entry level and then just that next step up. About the only difference is the fact that that next step up shingle is just a little bit thicker and it might have a little bit longer warranty on it. If the price difference is fairly large, that's not an upgrade that I would consider recommending to you as a homeowner to consider at all. So the next type of upgraded roofing material would be just like your standard shingle 
to more of a luxury shingle. So this is a shingle that it's not just a little bit better. There are a lot of things about it that are better than just your standard shingle. It's going to look better. It's going to be thicker. It'll perform better. So what I mean by a luxury shingle is that this is a shingle that has a much more complex pattern to it. So it's not just like the same shingle that you see on every roof in your neighborhood. So these are still asphalt shingles, but they're designed to emulate some other type of roofing material, whether it be wood shake or slate or something like that. A good example of this would be what's called a presidential style shingle. Now, like I said, oftentimes if you live in an area that's controlled by an HOA, they might tell you what type of shingle to put on your roof. They might tell you what it has to look like, or more specifically, they might tell you what it has to weigh. So in a lot of cases, this presidential style shingle will meet the requirements that an HOA is giving you for what you have to put on your roof. In my opinion, the only advantage that you're gaining from putting on a more luxury shingle is the luxury look that you're getting from it. The next kind of upgraded roofing material that we're going to talk about is the impact resistant shingle. So going from a standard asphalt shingle to an impact resistant asphalt shingle. Really, there's three main advantages and benefits that you're going to get from putting an impact resistant shingle on your roof. The first one is obviously and hopefully you're going to avoid any future damage from hailstorms. That's going to mean that you get to avoid having future insurance claims for hail damage for your roof. The second advantage to an impact resistant shingle is depending on who your insurance company is, you could get a pretty significant discount from your insurance company off of your insurance rates if you have an impact resistant shingle. Some insurance companies will give you a discount as high as 40%. So if you're with one of those insurance companies or you're considering shopping insurance companies, then you could really benefit from having an impact resistant shingle. If your goal is to get the discount from the insurance company, and so that's why you're considering putting an upgraded shingle on your roof, specifically an impact resistant shingle, the first thing that you want to do before you commit to buying the impact resistant shingle is call your insurance company and find out what the discount is that they give. You might find that the discount that you get isn't really that great. So there's one insurance company in particular that I know that gives discounts for the class four shingle. But for whatever reason, the amount of the discount that they give depends on a number of different factors. Maybe it's where the house is, maybe it's what the house is worth or whatever. But from that same company, some of our customers have reported that the discount was so small that it really wasn't worth it for them to consider upgrading. And some customers with that same insurance company told us that the discount was rather large. So putting the upgraded impact resistant shingle on their house made a lot of sense for them. But there's a third advantage to the impact resistant shingle upgrade that most people don't even really think about. And that is that if you have that product on your roof and there's a hailstorm and your roof doesn't sustain any damage because you have that upgraded product, you just saved yourself having to pay another deductible payment to a roofing contractor. Now we've got another video that we're gonna to link to right up here that talks about what insurance companies are doing with deductibles that is making it so that the homeowner has a much larger share in the cost of a re-roof. So I suggest that you watch that video because the more ways that you have of saving yourself future claims and therefore future deductible payments, the better. So it could really make a lot of sense for you to upgrade to an impact resistant product. Another kind of upgrade that a lot of people are really pretty interested in, and that's upgrading from their asphalt shingle to a metal product. One big advantage to metal is the fact that it's so lightweight. Now, some people have the misconception that it's metal, it's got to weigh a lot, but it actually doesn't. It's actually very light. And so that's an advantage to you if you live somewhere that gets heavy snow loads because you don't have all the weight of the snow plus all the weight of the roofing material pressing down on your roof supports, whether it's rafters or trusses. And speaking of snow, the metal panels actually shed snow much better than an asphalt shingle would, or especially a stone coated steel. Another advantage to metal is the fact that if you ever have to replace it, when you take it off, the metal can actually be recycled. Whereas in most places, an asphalt shingle can't or isn't 
recycle. And yet another advantage to metal is the fact that it's relatively durable and tough, especially if you get a thicker gauge metal, it's going to hold up to hail better. Now, having said that, I've seen all three kinds of metal roofs get damaged by hail, so it can still get damaged. The disadvantages to metal are it's going to be more expensive than your standard asphalt shingle. Now, as you get up into some of the more expensive luxury asphalt shingles, then that cost difference really kind of equalizes. But primarily, you can expect to pay more for a metal roof than if you're going to put an asphalt shingle on. Another thing that could be considered a disadvantage to metal is if you're using one of the metal panels, like the exposed fastener panels or the standing seam panels, those have to be custom made for your house. So it could be a longer wait to get those than if you put on an asphalt shingle or if you put on like a stone coated steel product. Another potential disadvantage to metal is the fact that repairs can be a little bit more difficult, can be a little bit more challenging. They're probably going to be more expensive than if your roof is an asphalt shingle roof. And the other little unknown thing that is a disadvantage to metal is you could end up having trouble getting good insurance coverage if you have a metal roof. But I've got more information about that at the end of this video. So the last upgrade option to tell you about would be to something that would be a synthetic composite material. There's lots of companies that make these, but one that kind of really stands out in my mind is Brava Roof Tile. And in my opinion, the synthetic composite materials offer all the benefits of the other roofing materials, plus even more. Now, one type of roofing material that we didn't talk about is slate or concrete or clay tile. And the reason that we didn't talk about those is because those are really challenging to upgrade from a, an asphalt shingle to tile or slate or something like that because of the weight of them. You have to have a roof that's engineered for all that extra weight. And typically a roof that has an asphalt shingle on it may not be engineered to, to hold all that extra weight. But that's one of the reasons that the synthetic and composite materials are such a good option because they have that same look as slate or tile without all the extra weight. They're actually pretty light, but they're also incredibly tough and durable. They don't break like tile does if you walk on it or if it gets hit by a hailstorm. It doesn't bend like the metal can when you walk on it or if it gets hit by a hailstorm. And it doesn't get all pitted with bruises like an asphalt shingle does. And a lot of these materials, especially the Brava, is made from recycled materials and you can recycle them if you ever need to replace the roof. So you could consider this a green roofing material. Now the one disadvantage to these materials right now is their cost. Since they're produced to be installed mostly on what I would call luxury homes or showcase homes and they don't have a profile that is designed to replicate that of just a normal asphalt shingle, these products are pretty expensive. They're definitely a luxury product. They're not intended for mass installation on a neighborhood full of homes. Okay, now remember earlier I said that if you are considering putting a metal roof on or if you have a metal roof, you may not be able to get good insurance coverage. So if you want to find out more about that, click on this video right up here and it'll tell you all about it. I'm Tracy Bookman, owner of Homestead Roofing.